Um, well, Massey, the writer and director, is, is a friend of mine. Um, we worked together about ooh, four or five years ago on a film called The Jacket that she wrote. Um, and we've been friends ever since. And I was over in LA and I remember her coming over to the house that I was living in and we were eating pizza and she was telling me about this film that she really wanted to direct. And she is one of the most intelligent women of all time. She's completely extraordinary. Um, and it sounded amazing when we were having these big discussions about, you know, what it was about, sort of infidelity and, and, and relationships and all the rest of it, but never kind of offering it to me, just there were other people involved, all the rest of it. And sort of about a year later, um, I was sort of living in Paris for a while and she phones me up and she's like, right, do you want to do that movie then? I'm like, what? No, I'm not working. I'm doing other things. And she went, right, I'm coming over to Paris um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk you into doing this movie. I went, right, okay. And she came over to Paris and she talked me into doing the movie. So that was it. And on set, she was extraordinary. She, she was going home at the end of the night, sort of reading lighting manuals so that she could really speak to the sparks. And, and she was, you know, I mean, just learning everything and talking to everyone and making everyone feel amazing and, and sort of, you know, um, and making everyone feel um, completely passionate about the project. You know, because quite a lot of times you do, you do films where the crew, the crews obviously, they don't read the script, you know, because they're going from film to film to film. and. You know, they, they don't necessarily have to. Everybody on set read the script. And I think because they loved Massey so much and because it was sort of this extraordinary thing where you're suddenly going, God, what is this about? You know, this is, this is really odd. Um, but, but I think it's, it's all about her, I think. And, and this film is completely... She's produced it, she's written it, she's directing it. I think she's such a talent. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased and I'm, uh, I love her to pieces, but uh, she she really is an extraordinary talent. And, and I think partly, mostly what a director has to do is infuse their crew, I think, and, and make them into a team. And she absolutely made everybody into a team. And she only had four and a half weeks to do it. <laughs> it's amazing. I think it's, a, it's about... It poses the question of uh, what is worse, a man who spends a night with a woman, uh, has sex with a woman, but doesn't feel anything for that woman really, or uh, his wife who spends the night with a man that she is kind of in love with and who is in love with her, who doesn't actually have sex with her, but, but they spend the night in each other's arms. And what is the biggest betrayal? I think that's what it's about. I play Joanna. Uh, she's a writer. I think she, she's, you sort of find her in a moment in her life where she's kind of coasting. You know, she's writing for magazines. She's not really doing what she wants to do. She wants to be writing novels. She's had a novel already. It, it, it was probably meant to be a great success and wasn't. Um, and, and so she's kind of getting by and she's, she's fitted into this sort of, this uh, married, comfortable lifestyle. Um, and all of a sudden somebody from her past comes up and reminds her who she could have been and who she was and it sort of spins her out a bit. Um, so, I, you know, I think she, she's, she's a great character. I mean, the, the whole thing, you know, we were all trying to make all the characters as, as naturalistic, as, as realistic as, as possible. So she's sort of a um, character with huge faults, obviously, um, and, but a really interesting one. I really like Sam. Uh, I really enjoyed working with him. I think he's extraordinary. He's like a tempest. He's sort of everything's going on underneath the surface, and you just go, "Wow, okay." I mean, he was great. It was, he was. Um, he's very, very committed. Uh, he's very opinionated, which is amazing, and he really sticks up for what he believes in. Um, and I am full of admiration for him. Um, I really like his work. I'd seen Somersault before we started and I thought what he did in Somersault was completely extraordinary. Um, you know, he's a tough cookie. He doesn't, he doesn't let anything slide and if he doesn't agree with something, he will argue. He will argue and argue and um, I kind of love it. I'm, I was really impressed by him. Amazing. Um, Guillaume's amazing. I mean, you know, I, it, it, it's... It, He's not, English obviously isn't his first language, he's French, and to give that performance in a language that isn't your first language is, I think, extraordinary. Um, it, it's a beautiful performance, and, and uh, again, just incredibly committed. Um, I mean, he's a director as well, so, uh, yeah, it was fascinating working with him. It was really, really interesting. He's, he's completely committed to what he does, to every different side of what he does, and, and 
obviously an extraordinary talent in so many different ways. I mean, he's just directing his second film now, I think, and he's, I think he's got an album coming out as well, and he's acting in English and French, and, you know, he's quite a very impressive man, definitely. I mean, I think, again, you know, the, the whole idea with this is, and they all said, we don't want this to be sex in the city. This isn't something that should be ultra-polished. This isn't something, you know, it should be realistic. It should be so... It was about not making them too glamorous or too done, but also saying, OK, well, you know, she's going out for a night out and, and she's making an effort because it's an ex-boyfriend and obviously you're going to make more of an effort for an ex-boyfriend. Um, uh, so it was, it was quite a fine line to tread. And I think, you know, what Anne's brilliant at is sort of mismatching things, you know, that, that are actually exactly what we do in life. We're never perfect in life. We're always, we, you know, we're always slightly kind of higgledy-piggledy. And, and she's brilliant about adding those, those character touches. So, yeah, loved working with her. I don't know, it's, it's, it, I mean, it is a story that could be set anywhere. But, yeah, I think New York, and particularly because of where we're all from, is a really good city to set it in because it is a city that has such a I mean so many different people from all over the world live there you get a real melting pot of of people over there um, and quite interesting that you know the main the two the couple are, are sort of are ones from England and ones from Australia and they've ended up living in this third place and somebody from France comes over and Ava's character although is American you know you're never quite sure is she from there is, is she from somewhere else so I think the the feeling of, of these people not being in their homeland gives them quite a kind of I don't know transient sort of you're already different I think um, and I think that helped the story hugely I mean New York is a wonderful city just walking around it you kind of understand that. And the fact that it's also a 24-hour city, I think, really helps with the story. I think that this film is definitely... It's about... The audience are going to make this film. You know, it really is. It's such a personal... Um, it's, it's, it's a personal thing with whoever sees it, what, what they think, and I don't want to dictate what they should think. I think Joanna is the worst. <laughs> However, <laughs> I think definitely the emotional betrayal. I'd go for.